I got an interesting comment uh, from one of the videos that I did on the flooring saying that I suffer from paralysis by analysis and I think that's very very true. Good morning. I'm in Edgewater, Colorado today, which is a township here just on the edge of Denver. Denver is located over here to this side. You can see skyscrapers over there. And Edgewater is over here on this other side. There's King Supers and McDonald's and some uh, Taco Bell. And right in the middle here is Sloan's Lake which is the second largest park in the Denver metro area. It's a giant lake. Anyway, I am doing my walk uh, in preparation for the Camino. Sloan's Lake, it takes about 45 minutes to an hour to walk around. Lots of people jogging out here, walking dogs, and getting exercise. We have a whole bunch of ducks over here, just hanging out. You saw my friend Chris in a previous episode. Uh, he's from Berlin, Germany, and has been living in the States for years and years. Chris used to live back here on this street, uh, just on the other side of the park, a half a block up. When I came back from Berlin and was going to Guatemala, I lived in Berlin for six months and then Guatemala for six months, I had a period of time for about three weeks between the two locations and I came back here to Denver and stayed for uh, I guess it's probably about three weeks with Chris uh, in a house just right up there so I used to come down to Sloan's Lake probably oh every other day something like that walk around it uh, sometimes just come down here and watch the sunset and it was always quite beautiful and amazing as you can see today Sloan's Lake is definitely very popular with the locals and I think with tourists they have a little boat harbor here You have some ski boats power boats Administrative center over there and then over here they have a little peninsula that you can walk out on It's a great place to go take a date particularly in the evening watch the sunset It's quite spectacular view there. You're surrounded by water on all sides except for the little narrow strip of land and on this opposite side back over here is a giant park. So people there on the weekends will have barbecues, picnics, volleyball, games, family gatherings. Anyway, lots of geese up here ahead. Might get attacked, who knows. a couple of folks over here doing paddle boarding. It's perfect weather for that. I've reached the opposite end of the lake. Off in the distance, way over there, you can see cars passing. That's where I started. I finished up here at the park. It took me, oh, slightly over an hour to walk around Sloan's Lake. I'm about six or seven blocks from the Cork Coffee Shop, which you might have seen in the Highlands video previously. I'll link that above. Um, so that's not too far from here. It's one of my favorite eclectic, privately owned, fun coffee shops built in a 1930s house with a wonderful patio deck. Some evening I should go back there. Uh, they have live entertainment in the evenings. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go up there, get online, do some work. The barbecue place. I'm at the Cork and Coffee and I managed to get a spot outside. Beautiful in the shade, just enjoying the morning weather. It's just spectacular here today. Gonna get some work done. <laughs> Finished up at the coffee shop. I'm headed over to the gym to do a workout and take a shower. 
Those of you who have been following my episodes know that about two weeks ago I went to the hospital to the emergency room for a problem with my left eye. I thought I had a little fleck of metal in it. it turns out that I actually had cut the top of my cornea, what they call a herniated cornea or a lesion. And so they sent me to an eye specialist. I had three follow-up appointments. They put me on medication for an infection that I had. Everything's great now. Now today I'm going to Walmart to the optometrist here. Um, I've gone to this guy probably oh, four or five times when I lived here in Denver. Really like him a lot as a doctor, which was surprising to me that he's working at a Walmart, but he's really great. So I'm gonna head in and get a new prescription for eyeglasses. I have my new prescription for eyeglasses. Looks like I'm getting bifocals. Anyway, um, I'm gonna look online to try to find a good deal, get some fun eyeglasses, something to put a smile on my face. And so I'm gonna head from here over to a coffee shop to do some work online. I'm at Starbucks and I've spent the last one hour and 20 minutes on the phone with QuickBooks, the company Intuit that makes QuickBooks, having an issue trying to run a customer credit card. And I reinstalled the complete program, tried to delete files, re-enter files, serial numbers, and everything and it's not working. They say it's a known issue and they're having me call the customer, get the credit card again to try to create a new customer file. It's just crazy the amount of effort that I'm having to go through to get this thing fixed. Just finished my work for the day here in Starbucks. <laughs> like an hour and 20 minutes with QuickBooks. That's just crazy and in the end, they have no solution. It's a known issue, as they call it. I got an interesting comment uh, from one of the videos that I did on the flooring saying that I suffer from paralysis by analysis. And I think that's very, very true. And the interesting thing about that is that I analyze certain things to death, as the person noted. But other things, I don't research at all. Uh, in fact, my mode of travel, preferred mode of travel, is to not research things before I show up to a country. Um, so like all last year I was traveling to all these cities and I would do almost no research. Just like maybe the night before I would look at hostels online, look for one with good reviews and book it for two nights. Then I would go to a city. Sometimes I didn't know anything about the city other than uh, someone else in the hostel recommended it, said it was a great place to go. So it's really interesting that my mode of travel is almost zero research. Just ask somebody, hey, where did you just come from? Where are you going next? Is there anything cool to do there? And that's it. And I would just go there. And so I would uh, really do no research in advance. I would show up, wake up in the morning, ask at the front desk, oh, what can I do today? What's interesting here? And uh, just go. I wouldn't read anything. I wouldn't research anything. So that's my mode of travel is no research. And it is fascinating to me to see that during this build of the step van that I'm researching things to death to the point to where I can't make decisions because I have so many options and I've researched so many things that there is no clear solution. Everything has a, a con to it, everything has a pro, and there isn't really any clear winner sometimes. Uh, later this evening I'm going to reconnect again with my friend Ren that you saw in a previous video last week. I'm going to try to see each of my friends oh, at least once a week, sometimes uh, more, but at least once a week. So I'm gonna get back over and have dinner with Ren and uh, hang out tonight. I'm headed uh, out of the step van right now up to Ren's apartment. I'm gonna do laundry up there and uh, have dinner with, with them this evening and spend the night there. I have little rabbits here in a lot of the neighborhoods in the apartment complexes. You can see them running around. I'm here with Carrie and Ren, and we are playing games tonight. Woo! And what is this game called? Marrakesh. Marrakesh. Here's the box. Marrakesh. So, it's got this little guy here. That's that, a psalm. A psalm. 
and he has to march around on these carpets and then you pay people if you land on their carpets <laughs> and it's a heck of a lot of fun <laughs> so anyway um we're having a great time and uh, i think that's all i have for this episode savor the moment thank you for watching see you next episode bye